Whoa. What's up, people? We got a fun stream today. We're going to do a little unboxing. Everyone doing okay today? Everyone getting safe from the storm? All my East Coast friends? Looks like it's going to be a nasty one. Valfonis, thank you so much for the prime sub. Okay, I see your message. You need to go on your laptop or desktop. You're not going to be able to do it on uh, mobile. So go to your screen on your desktop at the top. There's a subscribe button. Once you click that, you'll link your Amazon uh, account to your Prime account. I mean, uh, your Twitch account to your Amazon Prime account. And then you can just click sub. And it's awesome. It's really, really cool. So <laughs> I'm just joking, uh, Parameter Master, because we're going to talk about the Pilot 100th anniversary on stream tomorrow. So they, uh, they dropped the first bomb on us, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Ugh. God, parameter Master. I forgot. Golly. I got to fix that, Parameter Master. Ah. I'll fix that. Yeah. That makes me so mad. I'm putting it in my uh, calendar right now. Yeah, no worry. Hey everyone, hey everyone, I'm safely out of the way. All my friends in the Carolinas, Virginia, Maryland area, y'all need to GTFO, like seriously. Um, if you need a place to stay and you're listening to me or you have a friend, call me or DM me, email me, something. Um, Twitch doesn't, I need to turn it on on the YouTube because I will save this after. And there's a way, there's some weird way to set it up on Twitch um, that's not um, natural. Um, and it, it wasn't working last time. Thanks, Rapid Execution. I saw your follow. I appreciate it so much. Thanks for doing that. Yeah, the Twitch thing, they had some, they attempted it a couple years ago, and it was a mess, but I got to fix it on the YouTube part um, for Parameter Master. Yeah, that makes me mad. So I'm going to stop right now and, and write this down and so I get an alert that yells at me. Uh, but yeah, the uh, the pilot thing, Woo. Everyone, everyone lining up to get those, right? Oto, this Oto? I love this thing. I got the uh, the Pilot High Tech C refill in it, too. Such a good pen. Um, yeah. Vanishing Point Amber. <laughs> no, I don't have any Canadian dollars to spare. I don't have any American dollars to spare, bro. <laughs> Let's see. YouTube. Let's see, Let's see. So sorry, I am putting this down to where it will actually alert me. So I'll remember that. Yeah, so the the pin just got back in stock. Whoops. The pins just got back in stock. I got, uh, all right, now I can actually turn this off. All right, so y'all see those there, right? So we're still working on the camera setup. Y'all give me some, uh, this is essentially an upside down camera I have. And the webcam, uh, it always messes with the focus, right, as I'm moving pens and paper. So we need to move a lot of these things out of the uh, out of the scene here just so it can focus on whatever I'm bringing up there. One Dog Night, I saw your tech, I saw your message just a minute ago. Hope y'all are out of there. Uh, seriously. Uh, yeah, I keep meaning to do that. There is a, uh, uh, yeah, there's basically an upside down mode. So I, that's something I need to play with, but right now it seems okay because like I can just throw these on here and y'all can y'all can see it. If I was doing artwork or something, I would totally have an upside down mode uh, enabled. So what else is in my screen here? Do we have everything? All right, so I got two packages today. One, uh, we'll open this up. It's a uh, fragile, so you know it's important. This is from. Cognitive Surplus, they do some cool notebooks online, um, or they have them in various stationery stores. They, um, emailed me. <laughs> they sent me these for free. So I haven't looked at these yet, but online they look pretty cool. Then this, this is what we're going to do today. So I have a large head. You can see that this box is much larger than my head. This is what we're going to open up today from Jet Pins, latest Jet Pin swag. But first, I'm going to open up one of these 
Twisby goes. Because they were not, as I mentioned before, they were not in my um, original package or in this big box. I thought they were, but then I remembered I ordered them separately. So from there, I like Twisby's new packaging. So this is a plastic box. Their other uh, boxes were always good, but the way they separated and the way the posts uh, sat on the inside, it was a very strange, messy, kind of convoluted thing. Looked good, functionality not so much. Not, not so much. Yeah, Twisby, get, uh, Emil will get that on Twisby's 100th anniversary. So we still have the same stickers on the side here. So this is the blue extra fine. I ordered this for me to test. And then I ordered the black 1.1. I'm going to give that away on the blog next week or two. So this is a much better setup. Although it doesn't come with all the parts and pieces like uh, it normally does. Just this nice little uh, little protective thing. An all white non-demonstrator Twisby Go would be pretty great. I'm not going to lie there. That would be pretty good. Transparent Blue Eco is really good looking. I would get that if I didn't have uh, the super secret um, orange one coming. So uh, you know who you are. You're in here somewhere, I think. Um, this is such a cool pen. This is way better than I thought it would be. Um, just looking at it and feeling it and seeing it in my hand and holding it, it, uh, it looks pretty cool. So... We'll see. I, I don't know if I packed a bottle of ink. <laughs> yeah, hello, lol. <laughs> Can you compare its size to the Eco? It's ballpark the same. The barrel diameter feels the same. So the Eco is a large barrel um, to begin with. I'd say it's almost identical. I think the grip section feels narrower at first glance because this feels thinner than the barrel here. Like there feels like a greater gap. Like you're not holding it out here, you're holding it in tighter. So I'll have to, I don't have an eco handy, but that's a good comparison that I'll make when I do the review. So how's this filling system work? What do you do? Do you just take off this whole thing here? So I love the uh Yes, they have the flare ups and it's uh it's shaped. So it's not like the eco T, it's like the eco grip. So it's triangular in shape. Let's see. I don't know if that'll actually come through in the picture. You can kind of see it there. So it has the triangular eco grip, not the eco T grip. So you can kind of see it there. But uh, this spring is pretty, wow. That's pretty cool. If I get a bottle of ink, we'll fill it up here. This is, uh, this is kind of impressive to make it that simple. This is a really stout uh, mechanism here. I'm, I'm gonna like this pen a lot. Um, so what is the the ink? What is the so does the ink only fill up to here? Like this post does not hollow or anything like that, right? Just gonna fill up to the back end, get sealed off here, and you're gonna have what this much ink, which is probably more than a cartridge. I'm sure someone has the specs on how many milliliters it holds, but it's uh. It's, it's ridiculous cool. Awesome, Rodrigo. I, th You know what, Rodrigo? I'll tell you this on stream, and you can let Anna know. I'm, I think we're to the good. I think at this number, we're just going to do it, right? Because you know there's going to be people that's going to want it, so it's going to be really good. Yeah, this is a great base date blue pen. Perfect call. So this is extra fine, which the nibs are actually really hard to see on this lighting and this light colored bright colored on this black desk i don't know if this makes it any better yeah she was uh she was here in the beginning so we'll see if she was listening or not she may be working okay so yeah i think we're to the good anna you can kind of see it there sorry focus is bad but anyway extra fine um I mean, I figure I'm I'm good for like uh, 20 of them anyway, so that's all we need. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's keep pushing it. We're gonna keep going with this, but um, I I say we just do it. It's a it's a, a good experiment for us anyway at not. But let's keep pushing it another week or two. See what's up. Snapcap is really strong. I don't understand. I I 
get that we have a roll stop here. I don't know that we need lanyard hole, but I guess that's okay. So interesting. I love the uh, the finial up the top. It's got the translucent blue and the red twisty there. So yeah, I can't wait to get this inked up. We'll leave, we'll keep this handy. I don't know if I got a bottle of ink in this package or not. So we'll check on that. So let me file this away. Twisby Go. Really good packaging. Really good marketing of this pen. This is a pen that pretty much sold itself, you know, when it came out because it's so weird. <laughs> I mean, you might as well go full dork, right, Tony? I mean, you, this is something you have experience with. So let's keep this guy right here. All right. So, yeah, we do need a pen out of lanyard. I've considered them in the past. Um,. Let's open the cognitive. We're going to do the cognitive surplus too. And I don't know which notebooks they sell me. So if you're new to the unboxings here on Twitch that I do, I get all this stuff from jet pens early. Uh, some of it's already out. Some of it's an advanced look. I pick all the things out from jet pens from basically an email list and they show up in a box and I can never remember what I had. Like I thought these Twisby goes were in that box, but it turns out they were on a separate order. So it's, Pretty much a surprise, as much of a surprise to me as it is to you, what I actually get in these boxes. I do know this is from Cognitive Surf Plus. They just have dozens and dozens of styles, so I have no clue what style these came in. And they have uh, very in-depth packaging. So yeah, the other Twisby Go I bought was 1.1 milliliter, milliliter, millimeter stub. I'm gonna give that one away. I have enough Twisby, I buy lots of Twisby stubs. I don't need another stub. So I bought the extra fine for my regular use. This, holy cow. This is like one of those Russian nesting dolls. Good grief. Ugh. All right, we're on, we're on envelope number three now. <laughs> I appreciate the effort, cognitive surplus. That's uh, a lot of th things. All right, so we're gonna go one more here. Dude, is there, a, okay, there's not a fourth. <laughs> I thought there was one more. I love you, Cognitive Surplus, this is impressive. Oh wow, this is a bigger notebook than I thought. All right, so let's see if we can make room here. So this first one, I should learn to, to I'll flip my screen around. This one's Atomic Energy. This is what I found striking about them was the uh, cover styles like I generally like blank or not too much of an adorned cover but the way these are done is really really my style so I like the look at this um, this one's titled I guess the name of its atomic energy it's kind of in the um, in the proper place this is a softbound notebook um, looks really cool we'll set the second one to the side for a second we'll browse through this one so um, yeah, so, okay, this one's called the Experiment Notebook Series. This one reminds me a lot of a composition style notebook. It's got the thickness, or close to the thickness of one. Let's see if it says how many pages. Doesn't say how many pages, but it's got um, recyclepaper.grid. And let's see, what are all these specs on here? So no other specs. Oh, there we go. All right, so here we go. Second edition, 112 pages, 81 GSM, 100% recycled paper, designed in Portland, Oregon, made in China. These are really super, super cool. Oh, thank you, Tony. It's, uh, it's been a busy day on Twitch with the 9-11 uh, uh, happening, so it's very, very good. Very good to get rid of this. So I've been watching other streamers having issues this morning, so can't keep the trolls out so what size is this so there is my a5 rhodia you can't quite tell the full picture i could pan out a little bit but you get the drift it's just a little bit bigger all the way around so are we going like i don't know six by eight i don't have a ruler here um, and i don't have a field notes here which i actually use those rulers in the back but it's a good size it looks like a composition notebook for school so we'll have to test the paper out I'm, so let me let you into uh, a little bit of 
what I do for reviews. I hate just jumping into a paper product with random pens on stream. It's like a personal tick of mine. Like I want to do the paper testing correctly, not just start slinging ink all over because I'll eventually have to take pictures of these on for the reviews or one of the I'll have to send them out to one of the review crew who will have to get there. Emil, American A5. Thank you. I'm going to steal that. So like everything around <laughs> around this size, we just call American A5. It doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> so uh, I'm glad I have mods, uh, Tony, or mod, singular, Tony. I, I really appreciate that because I didn't even see that until it got modded. That's when I saw it. So thank you. Um, impressed. I don't know the price. We'll have to pull them up on the site. They seem to be reasonably priced when I uh, when I looked at them at first. So that's the soft cover. I'll set that here in case I need it. This is the hard cover. This has the same kind of amazing uh, look to it. So this one, actually the name of this one uh, was Nuclear Physics. So it had the atomic energy on the front. That just made me think it was the title, but it's actually the Nuclear Physics Edition. This one's called the Botany Edition. Botany Plate 2. So they have these really awesome uh, images that they put on these, these, um, these notebooks. So this one's hardcover. Let's see if it's got the same specs. So 192 pages. 192 pages, 81 GSM, 100% recycled paper, designed in Portland, made in China. So third edition. So I saw um, Les of Comfortable Shoes Studio pick these up at um, Bob Slate in Massachusetts. So these are in various stationers. But uh, like I said, they reached out to me, sent me these for free. I'm going to test them out. I'm always a little bit anxious to give like the recycled paper a try with fountain pens. You know, I've I go up and down on notebooks have to fit everything, every style of pen or notebooks can fit some things and it's okay if they don't fit other things. So, you know, if it doesn't if it's not good for fountain pens, well, that's okay. Like I don't really have a problem with that. Except Molsky. Their paper just feels weird. So, there you go. Cognitive surplus. Pretty sweet. I'm not gonna lie, the beautiful American A5. <laughs> the meal that uh, that was more funny than it should have been. You should drink. You should drink more often, Emil. All right. So, yeah, that's the experience I've had, Emil. That they will, that they will feather. But we'll give it a try and see what we what we have out. All right. So this is a monster box, and we're just gonna open it up, and then I'm gonna. Just reach in blindly, see what we can see what we can find in here. Um, I'm trying to recall um, one thing in this box that I picked, and I like I said, I would have said Twisby Go. I think I got the new J Herbon inks, the not the fancy inks, but the new regular J Herbon, not the what are the Jacques Herbon line the fancy upscale line i think i got the five new colors and the little baby bottles so we'll see we're just gonna go in blind here we have bubble wrap there you go bubble wrap all right let's see what else we got here all right we have a pouch this stitching is awesome i don't know what this is all right so what did i get here so this is a <laughs> pouch. Who makes this? Marks. Okay, so Marks. Um, Marks has just kind of gone on, uh, been on the stationary bent recently. I love the stitching. Um, what's the guy I like who does the uh, the stitch flags? I'm blanking now. This looks like some of his artwork. It's not, but uh, he does the uh, the quilting so i love this type of artwork so this is just a storage pouch probably a makeup pouch pencil pouch pen pouch i love how it looks it's really really cool um why am i blanking i'm gonna call him chet danger but that's not it <laughs> um but I i'll send it share a link oh nice cognitive surplus uh i'll have to check them out they look like a pretty cool store so this is mark stationery they do uh, storage pouches, and I think they do some notebook stuff too. So that looks cool. I like it. Although, that's almost not what I think that is there. All right, <laughs> let's go to round two. 
All right, we got a stack of paper goods here. So we have brick of paper. So let's go through these. Bust out the knife. Now as a master, thanks for the sub, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate you being on these streams and hanging out. It's fun. Sorry for the, the noises as I open this stuff up. Um, don't slice towards you kids. Don't do this at home. Ooh. Sorry. Yeah, this is a little bit bad. Sorry. Should have put it on mute while I while I undid it all. TJ, thanks buddy. Appreciate it. You're the man. Twitch Daddy TJ Lowerman. Appreciate it. Alright. <laughs> I was I was very careful. I'm usually not. Alright, let's see what we got here. One at a time. Alright. I got nothing. What did I get? Oh, this is <laughs> excuse me. This is a glasses cleaning cloth. I do remember ordering this. Because I was curious what this actually was. Because, as people with glasses know, a lot of glasses cleaning cloths don't clean glasses worth of poop. Like, they just push the dirt around. This actually feels kind of nice. So, it's a cool, uh, cool pattern. And who makes this? Kurochiku. So, this is Kurochiku. So... I found, I use one type of microfiber cloth I get on Amazon, but when I saw this, I was like, you know what? I'm ordering all this other stationary stuff. Uh, this is from Japan. The entire box may not be from Japan. I can't remember what else is in it, but I will tell you where everything's from. This is definitely from Japan. So when I got the pens and paper, since I, um, I wear glasses, obviously, but I wear them like 24 seven. I'm, well, I guess <laughs> that'd be kind of impossible. I wear them every waking hour. So I wanted to see how this would do. And I'm so particular about it that I'm not gonna test them on the stream because, oh yeah, this is all from JetPen, sorry. <laughs> I didn't see like the stupid message that got banned, so don't hold me to, <laughs> don't hold me to all of the comments. But I'm so particular about my glasses, I'm not gonna test these out on stream because if they don't work, then I'm going to be annoyed by the glare and mess I have on my glasses the rest of this stream. So we're not going to do that. All right. But let's see if Brad can actually get these back in the package. Yes, he can. Close enough. All right. These are Hibby. Let's see. Who makes these? So this is Hibby. And this thought this was Marks also. Does it say Marks? Yeah, Marks. So this is that pouch that I just showed a second ago. This is the Marks Hebe notebook. And I thought it had a really interesting uh, take. Yes, you will get a full report on that lens wiper. Like, I'm not going to review that like as a proper review on Pen Attic, but we will cover that here somehow. All right, so this is this interesting two-tone... Um, Wow, they really protect this front part here. So that plastic was extra cover on this section. It's a, um, there's a gap here. It's almost like a sticker on the top of here, but it's, it's really neat. Nice. It's like an alternating color. And this is a weekly schedule uh, layout. That's kind of rad. Like I saw this, I was like, I gotta have this. So this looks, um, yeah, but it's gotta be, I mean, it's supposed to be scuffed, right? You want your stuff to look like crap. At least I do. Not crap, but you know what I mean. Love your tools, and your tools will love you back, Rodrigo. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this is really hyper-specific Japanese stationery that uh, Japan's known for. I mean, there's not a lot you can use this for, except very small tasks. So... The interesting thing, it is undated, so you'll fill in your own dates. It has the um, spot here at the top for uh, probably week and year, and then uh, day numbers in these blocks here. I don't know what the differentiation is between the three. Are these the three of most important tasks at the top and then the rest of your day? I don't know. But what's interesting is the backside of this. 
I don't know what's happening. It's like a, it's a desk calendar style. Okay, I see. So you'll flip it up and it'll actually stand. So honestly, that's pretty rad, right? Look at that. Boom. So I don't know, like, do you use the mem can you use this memo? Because if you can, this is a killer design, <laughs> right? I mean, that's pretty neat. So this is the Marks Hibby, H-I-B-I. So Hibby means every day in Japanese, discover the little things in life that make you happy. Boom. Words to live by. Bye. Also, bye. So yeah, um, these are available because um, I, I happened to run across them when I was browsing through the JetPen's new items and they, I saw them all sold out when they were getting restocked. And I was like, why are these all sold out? And now I see it's because they were kind of cool. I'm going to put this back on here just so I remember to take a picture of it on there that they're super protective of this little front section, which it doesn't seem that precious. Precious. So we'll see. Pretty rad, though. I like it. Approved. Approved. Um, there is no kanji on here that I saw. So other than like in the pricing stickers, it was all, all English inside, even like, like Monday through Monday through Friday. Um, and memo is about all it says on the page. All right. Uh Oh, uh Oh, uh Oh, you know what time it is time for me to take a drink. So every year, at least the last two or three years, I have bought a Techo, a Hobonichi Techo from Jet Pens with the cover to give away on the blog. So some of what, sometimes like some of the stuff I order is just for me to give away, not to review. I won't be using this. Um, this doesn't fit my system, but you can see what we're given, what I'll be giving away here in the not too distant future. It's Techo time. So, let's see what cover I got on this. This is packaged like cognitive surplus of stuff. It's like 8,000 layers of packaging. So it has this red and blue cover and the 2019 Techo in there. JD lady, what's up? Um, I'm not gonna take all this out because it looks like it might be impossible to get back in, but I'm giving this away. So it's got card slots here on the front. It's got a pen slot and note card slot here on the back. And then the Techo will slot in there. So, very cool. I'm anxious to uh, to give this away. So we might do that sooner than later. Yeah, definitely kind of a, a Braves look. It's a really bright red. It's very pretty. I like it. So yeah, so far we're giving away lots of stuff. All right, this one is interesting because it's very expensive. And we'll have to see if it lives up to the hype. So this is the, who makes this? This is a Tomoe River Notebook. Here, let me take it out of this packaging. Um, the name says Sakai TP. I don't, well, I'll let y'all look at that and see what you think. But this is a big, thick, 368 page Tomoe River notebook. It has this plastic cover on this. Oh, so, so this is actually from, this is basically. Uh, a, an original source Tomoe, is that what you would call it? Like Tomoe from Tomoe? Sakai Technical Paper Company Limited. So is the Tomoe River Paper Company making the notebook now. Okay, so look, you can see my camera in there. Hi, webcam. So yeah, so this is them. And this is the one that says Tomoe River on every page, doesn't it? You know, it has a little branding. Oh, it's, it's really hard to see. This is super thick. It's got a plastic cover on the outside. I guess you can remove, yeah, it, 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 your notebook slides out of this. It's got a thick cardstock cover. Um, it feels really thick, actually. Like, I would probably take this out because this feels like going over to your grandmother and sitting on the couch with the plastic on the furniture. It's like, why would you do that? Um, but the best part about it, this is A5. So it's A5 size. Sorry, it's got this glare thing going. A5, 368 pages, dot grid. So it's dot grid and it's white paper. Like this is 
super, super winning for me. So I'm assuming it's really good quality. What size, is, what thickness, this is the 52 GSM paper. So this is the thinner Tamoe River paper, uh, which I don't mind. So that's kind of cool. If I recall correctly, these are very expensive, like 30 to $40, right? 30, 35. No grid white paper would be better. Yeah, but you're gonna have to ban yourself for that one, Tony, sorry. And thanks for the bits though, before you go, before you get banned. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what the, uh, I mean, big thick Tamale River notebook, you can't really go wrong, it just depends on the price. I think they're very expensive though. Yeah, so Tony thinks it's closer to 45. I mean, this is a big honking notebook, but it's, that's expensive. So, we'll see. You know it's gonna be good. Oh, let me see if I can. Uh, I didn't need to. All right. This actually excites me more than that Tamoe River notebook. Um, so this is from Travelers. Spiral ring notebook with the craft paper pockets. I'm going to take this one out. This is kind of like a standalone travelers setup so it's ring bound yeah I, I'm with you Emil like uh, good paper is, is generally worth it so it's ring bound craft paper cover thick cardboard craft paper um, it's got oh what is happening here oh this is not a notebook what is happening check this out I don't know what to do with my hands. Every page is, there's like a pocket. What is this? Paper pocket. Huh, I may rescind saying, every page is a pocket page. I thought this was just like, okay, I'd have a pocket folder on the front. This is literally every page is a pocket. What is happening? What is happening? Like, we're in the middle of the notebook. Every page is a pocket. What am I doing with this? Yeah, okay. Japan, you, I usually get you. I don't get you on this one, Japan. What is happening here? I'm going to look at this a little bit more. 16 sheets, 32 pockets. <laughs> what is happening? How do I use this? Every page has a pocket where you can put such travel memories as tickets, maps, and postcards. As the pages are made of our original MD paper, you will have the best feeling when writing. But all my stuff's going to be at the bottom, and it's just going to be like this huge pouch of stuff down here. Like, my notebook's going to end up like one of these deals, right? It's going to look like this. I guess. It's not, but it's a standalone product because it's spiral bound into itself. Hmm. I'm very confused on this one. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I could see that as like a project notebook. I, I'll buy that. Okay, what other what other things are we doing here? It's not, it, it can't go in the Travelers. Like, it's exterior from it, right? Like, it's it's got its own spiral binding. And this is thick. This is no joke. It's tickets, but like, what do you, this is years worth of tickets unless you have like one trip with lots of tickets. Yeah, I guess so, but I, hmm, super interesting. This is not at all what I thought this was. Yeah, this is Midori, so it's Traveler's Company. So, very interesting. Stickers, stickers work it. Do you have it, like you literally use this, Anna? If you do, what do you use it for? And does it leave your house? Like, well, yeah, we got to know these things. Invoices, taxes, yeah. Collages, see, now that I could use. That's not a bad idea. I can work on that because actually I do some of that stuff. Mail art, put your different uh, different stickers in um, for your mail art, your stamps, your letters, note cards, postcards, um, different stickers, flat pages. That's pretty cool. Okay. Well, see, now you've got a, a way for me to um, to review it because I could um, I could cut up my magazines, put them in here, 
and then go back and do it um, and do my journal as I, you know, I could take the time to put in whichever snips I want in here. This is crazy. I just, this is such a nice format. I just wonder about it. I wonder how much this thing costs too. It's really well, anything they do is really well done. Oh yeah, you can put your like your serial killer like letter alphabets, one page. Yeah, there's 32 pockets, so you have the full alphabet, then you can have numbers on there too. Yeah, a good character, character writing notebook. I'd buy that. So, interesting, interesting. Voodoo notebook. <laughs> I can get behind that. <laughs> huh. All right. So we have lots of people that have uh, interesting thoughts about this notebook. So I'll definitely have to review it because it could be. This is a thing. <laughs> what is happening to my life? All right. Let's see what next surprise we can get. Can I reach all this? All right. This is a bag bag full of pens and look, washi tape. Uh, Tombow. Did y'all see those Tombow tennis shoes? Recipe card book. Yeah, that's a good one. Did y'all see those Tombow tennis shoes? I don't think I shared that picture. I saw it like the, you know, the platform style tennis shoes. They had those with the Tombow monocolors. All right, let's open this up. Sorry, guys. More noises. Probably save some of these pouches to transport all this stuff back home. All right, sorry. This is where all the loose pins. Ooh, almost lost the microphone right there. This is where all the loose pins go. All right, there we go. MT. MT is the master taper. That's what I call them. Actually, I forget what they stand for. So this is like I I've been using washi tape recently for my journal, so. Yeah, Tombow sneakers. Look them up. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've been using this. It's like a uh, it's like a pinstripe very one. So just something for me to use. Very cool. I use lots of different colors. All right, what do we got here? So this is a uh, new to me brand that I don't know anything about, but I saw them as an option. It's called the Touch Liner. Very. Uh, Secura Pigma Micron looking. So it's touch liner and the brand is Shinhan. Shinhan Art. So we'll see. Like there's other companies that have been coming out with these. I wonder if they're white labeled Securas Microns because the the cap and style is very, very similar. So um a little different though. Thinner clip, rounded top. You know the the cap goes to a point. We'll just have to see. The only thing about these is like the quality. You know, let's see how the quality is. So, it was a new new to me brand that's new at Jet Pens. So we'll try those out. All right, this looks interesting. What do we have here? So this is some kind of fancy inner gel. It's black and gold. Um, 0.5 millimeter. I think I just got them because it's like a new fancy barrel. These are kind of nice. All right, see you, TJ. No, nah, I'm not going to play Destiny on stream today. The pocket notebook is $8 with the, the one with all the pockets in it. If so, that's about half of what I thought it would be. That's a pretty good price. So any... Oh, I see what this is. This is a permanent gel ink pen. So these are designed to uh, to be permanent. Let me know if you didn't find it. I'm pretty sure I saved that image somewhere. I'll find them for you. You could pull those off. I've seen your shoes. You could do it. I should have just bought them for you. Um, so this is a permanent gel ink marker. So that's an interesting, interesting angle on on this. So we'll definitely give those a try. Oh, I've had one of these before. What is this one called? It's Zebra, but I can't remember the name of it. Let's see. Whoops. I have the name. I, it's a, basically a telescoping um, pocket pen. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So, boom. Zebra telescoping pocket pen. They've made these before. I'm wondering why they uh, they must be doing some new colors. It's a real pretty, like, 
can't tell if that's a navy blue or like a royal purple, but it's a self-contained uh, tip. It, it protects it when it's closed. So it's got a sleeve that slides over and then you pull it out and the tip ejects. So pretty cool. It's actually really comfortable to hold. Um, it does not lock, but it's kind of firm. There's no, like you have to really press it to move it down, but there's no hard lock to it. Oh, that's very cool. Yeah, they've made these before. So I'm wondering if there's something different about this model than the previous one that I've had. It's very nice. It's kind of cool. Okay, did they discontinue them? Maybe so. I'm making a comeback. All right, what's this? This is, I remember ordering this. This is like a throwback company that's redoing something and I don't have a clue. There's no name on here. There's a logo on the top. Is it Zenith? Is that what it is? I don't know, the logo looks like an M. I don't know. There's no brand on here. Let's see if the refill says something. Bolograph. That's what it is. Made in Sweden, it's the Bolograph. So I think this is like the, uh, I think I got gifted one similar to these from my uh, Swedish friends that this is like kind of like the, the standard pen you use like anywhere and everywhere in Sweden, Bolograph. So they're doing, uh, doing a little bit of promotion, getting these out in the world now. It's kind of an, I bought, I got this color cause it's like super tricky, like that 70 avocados green. Um, pen so they had some I think they have some brighter colors available but I went with this one because I thought it was a, a such a different color than what I, I normally use like compared to like sitting with my yellow pen that's a pretty cool pretty cool matchup so yeah that's neat so we'll try this um the experience I had with the other pen that was given to me was the refill was super bad so we'll have to check this um but it's a Parker style refill so we'll see hopefully this one's a little bit better it's a neat, yeah, it's, it's a very neat look. Classic and retro. All right. I think I have every one of these monograph pencils because I love Tombow's logo. Um, any, pretty much every pen or pencil that Tombow does, if it comes in their branded colors, I'm going to get that one. So this is just your basic 0.5 mechanical pencil, but I just love these colors too much that I just can't pass it up. Like, I think this is this is the one with the screw out eraser where the eraser is probably comes down to right here and you take the tip and you just, um, you can screw it out and it goes, it'll probably go out to like this far on there. So they're very good if you like erasers. Um, I don't think there's anything other special than this other than the twist out eraser, which, hey, Tombow makes some of the best, best erasers in the world. Does it look similar? I don't know, let me look. Yes, it looks very similar. It doesn't have that um, step down where the middle of the barrel is, but the whole upper barrel and clip and everything looks looks very similar. Similar. So that's cool. Like this is a pen, I, a pencil I probably won't review just because I've done it so many times. There's no need to continue down that path, like doing the doing the thing. But like this, I would review. This is the uh, the Pentel Orens. So what the Orens does is has a, um, oh yeah, Emil, I've read the uh, the Vero story. <laughs> what the Orens does, which you, you can, probably can't even see in this picture because of the glare, but as the tip, as you write with the tip, it kind of surrounds the lead. It's weird feeling a little bit, but it helps prevent breakage. And once you get used to it, it just takes a second or two to get used to how it works. Um, it actually functions pretty well. This is a relatively skinny mechanical pencil, which is kind of nice. I'm surprised there's not more mechanical pencils that are a little bit skinnier than normal. At least the barrel up top skinny. Uh, the grip looks about normal size. So that'll be cool. So like that'll be one we definitely review because it's different. It's got a full metal barrel, metal grip, and uh, interesting uh, lead protection system up front. So that's cool. <clears throat> All right, so this is the Cosmos from Stillform. Did any of y'all back that original Kickstarter? This was two years ago, maybe? Uh, 
Um, they just did a fountain pen, but this was the first Kickstarter. Um, Red Dot Design Award 2018. It's a really good concept for a pen. So it's kind of like that zebra that I just had a minute ago. This is like a satin matte finish. It just pops down to use and pops back. So it's nice. It's heavyweight. Not heavy, heavy, but, you know, there's some weight to it. It's a full metal barrel. So let's see. Let me see if I can get it apart and not break it. There we go. See what refill it uses. I'm sure it's Parker something or other. Yep, so it's Parker, so branded still form. I'm guessing it's a medium black ballpoint, but any Parker refill will fit. So, yeah, this was a, uh, this is a Sergeant Pile pen. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's fun to play with. We'll just have to see if it's any good. It feels good. It's a good shape, good weight, good design. I like the look of it. And just snap it. Snap it. So yeah, they did a uh, fountain pen project not too long ago that uh, I tested out. The fountain pens were nice too. Really good packaging. Like you know, you know my my stance on packaging. But hey, sometimes it's just good. Like that Twisby. As a matter of fact, we'll set it right there with the Twisby. All right. I don't know how much more we have to go, but probably a lot. Tombow Mono Edge Dual Tip Highlighters. Y'all know I love my highlighters. Um, so, yeah, so this is the chisel tip up on the colored end, and then the single fine marker whoop, marker tip on this end down here. So you can see the extra cap, maybe, with all the glare. Super hard to do glare pictures when everything's in its packaging. I'm not going to undo everything on this stream. So, yeah, it's very cool. Good colors. I hope this... Uh, this is like a weird orange, orangish yellow. If that's the case, that'd be a neat highlighter color. We'll see how that comes out. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna pull this box closer. Oh, oh I kind of glance at something. Oh, so this is the um, those pins I showed a minute ago that look like the microns, the Shinon Touch. Is that it? Shinon, yeah. The Touch Liner. So this is different. The other ones were like the microns. Um, and the tip size, these look like these are brush pens. So let's see. So these could be fun to play with. I like them. They're very skinny, which I really like. I like a skinny brush pen. These could be interesting. So lots of colors to choose from here. <laughs> don't undo. You don't like the noise? So what do we got? Brown, purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, red. So good looking set. All right, now this is an outlier in that it's probably the most normal thing in the entire box, except it's just not something we're used to seeing, at least for me. And it's something I've always wanted and I've never bought. It's always been available since I've been into fountain pens. Never purchased it. Original na uh, Namiki ink pot ink. So this is, they just have blue and black in this. I don't think they do blue black. Um, this is like the neatest ink pot ever. So that's why I bought it. <laughs> I bought this for the ink pot. Plus Pilot is the one, I think it's probably the only regular black ink that I use. Unless I'm using Sailor Nano Black, I just use Pilot Black. But these ink pots are great. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know. Look at that. It's just classic. You know, this is something I want on my desk. So, I don't. I try not to listen to Tony. Should I? No. But yeah, look at that. Classic. So I just had to get it. They're inexpensive, really good quality, and um, beautiful. So I'll keep that on my desk, and I'll probably review that. Just a basic black ink. Never, never re review that. Oh hey, look. I did order a Twisby Go in the box. Now I have more to give away to y'all. Yeah, I could. I can fill it with black. I like black.
especially palette black. Yeah, so I'll fill it up in just a minute. The th kicker is, is um, will it go deep enough into that bottle? Because that's the thing about those bottles is they're short. So we'll see. Well, we'll see what I can do. I'll test it out. Um, yeah. So another Twisby go. Oh, I just saw why the box is so big now. All right. So this thing won an award a couple of years ago. Let's see if I can get that glare off. So this is the newer model of it. I never tried the original model of it, but it's a Kakuyo. They won some kind of design award for this for it's a staple, a stapler. So it just kind of crimps the pages together and it's supposed to work really, really well. Um, I think, honestly, I think the five is like five pages max. And, you know, it's so it's for just a, a short amount of paper, a small amount of paper. But yeah, it's um, it's interesting. So I'm gonna give this a try. So there's no no staples with this stapler. You know, you're not gonna staple, you know, the you know the accounting reports together with all the pages, but just a few pages. Might be something handy. We'll test it out and see. All right. I had to peek now because I can't reach everything. Because there is something large left in this box. But this is what I the one thing I remembered emailing and this is probably where the feds come knocking on the door if they see like this on stream like what is this guy doing so this is the new Jair Bon baby ink bottles so these are the 10 milliliter bottles I just got these to sample because I've never been a Jair Bon ink fan but these new colors look really really good so this is what uh, blue ooh Kalank Kalank all right, Anna, what you got here? Kalank. That's a that's a hard word for me to say in my my moderate French. I usually don't see that N Q U E. So yeah, these are little baby bottles. Um, I don't know if the Twisby would fit in those either. It'd be interesting to find out. Cause I'd like to have one of these brighter colors in there. Let's see what all these colors are. But yeah, can't get much smaller than 10 milliliters. Uh, Corel de Tropique. Corel de Tropique. So, nice. So that's the pink. So it's bright blue, pink. Corel de Tropique. Well, just buy it. J. Herbon inks, Emil. That's all you need. So this is Verdigris. Velt de Gris. Oh, good. Good. That, that's a not a normal... Normal... I don't know. It, it looks different than, than most words. Velt de Gris. Which is probably the first one I'll try because I'm that boring. Rouge Grenat, Rouge Grenat, Grenat. So what is that? Uh, is that like a ruby red or a garnet? Garnet red? I guess that would make more sense. And last one. Very nice packaging by Jet Pens. Props. Bleu de profondeur. What does that mean? What is profondeur? Is that like a monk? It looks like a monkfish. It looks like a fish of some kind. What is a profondeur? Corail de tropique. Tropique. What is a profondeur? Some kind of tricky little fish. So yeah, so those are the five new colors. It's nice that Shea Harbon is coming out with some new inks. Um, they've been kind of the same inks for a little bit here, um, especially in the larger bottles. And um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see if anything uh, hits out of these. All right, so the last thing, and the reason why the box is so big, so there's a bag in it. 
I've been watching these donut, I call them donut macaroons. Jim, what's up? All right, so yeah, donut. It's a very orange bag, which you know I was gonna get. Although I may not review it, I'll probably send it to someone to review. Um, you know, it's just something I wanted to to play around with. Jet Pens does good at getting uh, carry items, and you know I like to. Uh, let me uh, let me kill the kill the desk cam. Let me get a better view here. Alright, so these are not white straps, these are just protection over the leather. I'll take those off, it'll look a little bit better. I want to say these were under a hundred bucks, I could be wrong, which is what made me want to try them. Like, it's super hard to get a good quality bag under a hundred bucks, but um, it can be done. Like. Uh, if y'all are ever looking for like backpack recommendations, Patagonia runs a 50% off sale twice a year. I get a lot of bags from them. So this is a messenger. Uh, the company's name is Donut. Big Donut here. And uh, big Donut label here on the front, I should say. So, so are these real straps? How does this strap system work? Hmm. So, to open your bag, okay, it's a hook strap here. All right, there we go. So we have hook straps. Velcro for no reason at all. You know, our sticks. What's up, Rich? Um, we don't we don't need Velcro here if we have straps to hook down. But that's just me being me. Um, it's really sizable. pretty big pretty large bag it has a padded laptop sleeve on the inside here this is very hard to uh, to, to see so and it's got uh, it's got a little bit of storage here and it's got a flip top here which for a messenger all right so let's talk about design here I love backpacks that have the like the drawstring pouches on the top. So the theory here is I have a messenger bag, right? And you've given me like this cover and I can use it here. Theoretically, I could stuff it. Like you're allowing me to do something big here. Well, it's gonna be pretty hard to strap. Can I even get the strap that tall? So. That's uh, a design thing that's like the first thing I see. But if you keep it down, it kind of gets in the way. So that's a confusing design choice to me. Settle down, Tony. I'm banning you. It has bottle pockets on the inside, which is kind of cool. So like there's these little elastic things on the inside. Um, not a lot of storage on the inside, just the laptop sleeve and then a small little pouch and then the bottle storage. I'm super confused. These zippers aren't fantastic either. <laughs> Alright, so sorry, just got these zippers on. Um, yeah, that's a, uh, interesting design choice. Good hardware, good feel, good material. Oh, so there's more, this has more, uh, the front pocket definitely has more storage options here, more things to split up. But uh, what you're doing here, what you're doing here is making the users have to work more. So I'm not a fan of this because if you have it down and regular regular style right so you have your laptop in looks great feels great you have your laptop in you have more things in the way to get to the stuff on the inside then if you actually do use this like this 
can't close the flap. Like if you're stuffing jackets and stuff in here. <laughs> so, this, um, this bag doesn't know what it wants to be. It's a little bit confusing. That said, feels good, looks good. I think it's got some questionable choices, but I don't think that would prevent anyone from whoever bought it liking it. The hardware is really nice. I really like these clips and the leather that goes on with it. So, it's pretty cool. Um, little small padded strap, probably needs to be about twice that size. But Donut, we've reviewed some of their small backpacks before and they get good reviews. Okay, it does have back access to the laptop portion. So it does have back access. You can only extend the front straps a little bit. Uh, maybe you could get them all the way over there to cover the to cover the uh, opening. It didn't look like they were long enough, but I'll check real quick. So they're hooked. No, they're still not going to be tall enough. So that's their longest point. So interesting decision. Pretty well executed other than that though. I like it. Not a bad looking bag. Send this off to get reviewed. Probably coming to you, Sarah, if you're out there watching this on replay. Uh, that's actually it. Should we try to fill this Twisby Go? Let's do it. Let's try to fill this Twisby Go. I'll put the bottom camera back on. See if we can see if we can get that in the in the mix. Where is mine? Extra fine. I don't know if any bottle is gonna be deep enough for this, which is always a kicker with fountain with piston filling pens and tricky looking ink bottles. Ink bottle may look pretty. It may be not as functional as other ones. So Let's see. Let me decide which one's gonna work here. Oh, I think they'll probably both work. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, so no problem. No problem on either of these, fitting it in. All right, so what are we gonna go with? We're gonna go with Namiki Black. Or are we gonna go with uh, Bleu de Profondeur or Verdigris or one of these other ones? Um, I don't wanna do red or pink because I wanna keep using this. This bright blue might be too light for me. So uh, I'm kinda tempted to do black. What do y'all think? Should I do a poll? Let's see, we'll do a poll real quick. If I can reach my keyboard and all this. Voting on Twisby Go Ink Color. We're gonna do black. Well, I can't spell. I still gotta find a new poll thing to where you don't have to uh, type it in. Yeah, see, I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking that's the one I want to use, but you know, I'm leading the witness here. So we'll add that one, and then we'll add blue. We'll just call it blue black. Uh, add, and should we put in a third? No, <laughs> I'm cheesing for you. So black or blue black, this is, I'm a simple man. I like my bright colors, but uh, not on this one. So, so you do exclamation point, vote, space, and then zero for black or one for blue black. We'll see what wins. Oh, I guess I could have done verdigree. Oh, well, I didn't see that. 
I had it set to the side. So if it ties, we'll do vertigree. How about that? So, so there you go. It's like the super boringest poll ever. So we'll let this run a minute or two. We got lots of podcast topics for tomorrow, including Pilot's 100th anniversary. I didn't want to go all show without all stream without talking about it, but I don't want to talk about it too much because we're saving it for the show. And like uh, Jim, I got your you got your message, and I've purposefully not read the comments in Slack. Not that I'm avoiding it, contrary to popular belief, Tony is I don't want uh, my thoughts spoiled, even though it's not that original thoughts, and I'm sure everyone's saying the same thing. So, um, is it a landslide? Who voted black? Neow's a master. I should just do it black just for uh, Neow's a master. But yeah, I guess we're going to have to go blue-black, aren't we? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So we'd been talking about it a little bit on Twitter, and I wanted to think about it a little bit more, and... You know, I think the questions that we're going to look at tomorrow are more, you know, what are the expectations of a company when they do special editions as opposed. Yeah, yeah. I actually, I do that a lot. I'll scroll back after the show, like Wednesday night or Thursday. I'll go back and flip through um, a bunch of the comments before. So, <clears throat> yes, definitely, Anna. But, um, yeah, we'll, we're going to take it more from the aspect of not what is pilot doing but what are the what are the expectations for limited editions anniversary editions what are companies trying to accomplish by doing them what should they be trying to accomplish by doing them so that's kind of where what we'll look at doing um on tomorrow's show so i'm sure we'll have plenty of things to say gotcha okay good i'll check that out all right i think this one's uh this one, this one's a runaway, especially knowing my my tastes. Blue, black, runaway winner. All right. I wish I could do this without making a mess so you could see it better, but I'll see what I can do. I'm just more worried. I don't. I didn't prepare with like you know paper towels or anything, so we'll have this little notepad here. I hope the tip of this fits in there. Looks like it should. All right. So let's see. See if I can get you a little bit of an angle. Yeah, I'll wait and read Daryl's stuff afterwards. But I think my main focus is I hope this is not it. Like, I think that's kind of the, the hope. All right, let's see if I can get a good shot of this inking up. All right, so I've got to put push down before I put it in there. Let's see. I'm trying to see where this will... So you can see it. That work? Yeah. Hopefully you can see that a little bit. Yeah, I always love like uh, Daryl always has a great perspective. So I'll hold off on reading that until tomorrow after the show. So that filled up pretty nicely, I think. Let me cap this bottle before I knock it all over my desk. Lurky lurk. So yeah, I will tell you this. Wait, let me see something here. How much ink did I get in here? So I got pretty full. Like what's that? Three quarters maybe? I probably could have done a little bit better. A little bit better uh, fill. I was just a little bit awkward trying to to, to do that, let me uh, get this wiped off here. So yeah, filling system's a win. Very cool. Very cool. So, wow, it does post, but... <laughs> <laughs> then it's like a baton. It doesn't doesn't post crazy. It's a very dark uh, depths of the ocean here. 
very dark. Yeah, this would look great with a really bright ink. I kind of wanted a dark ink the first shot, though. Oops. It's pretty cool. I like it. It feels good. It feels like a little bit lighter eco when you're writing with it. It's portable as I'll get out. I'll uh I'll have to see um how it stacks up over time. It feels pretty good. Yeah, I, I was actually with you, Jim. Not that I'd be uh bored by that. I just don't think it was it would have been the right decision. Um, it would have sold well. It would have done well. I don't think that would have been the right decision, honestly. Um, you know, without giving giving away all my talking points for tomorrow. Yes, it is a snap cap. It's a very good one too. So here, pretty stout. Yeah, this is a great first fountain pen for people. It's just fun, and it writes well. Y'all hear this nib? Can y'all hear that? Yeah, I don't know if you got to see it, um, but it sure did do a good job. Like, easy peasy. Sorry, I'm just trying to trying to decide if this nib scratchy or just uh yeah this is an extra fine or is this fine i think it's extra fine yeah extra fine extra fine for me emil you know me so yes back to tomorrow's show it will be a very interesting show i'll be interested to see what mike has to say i bet we kind of think the same on it like you know uh, I bet our thoughts are the same. I think he does want to see some of the vintage stuff brought back. Uh, I'm more on your side, Jim, is I don't necessarily want to see that. But we'll see. There's a, yeah, I'm going to stop because <laughs> I'm going to end up talking about the whole show tomorrow. But remind me after the show, and I'm sure I will. I'll go um, read those comments because um, I'd be interested to see what everyone else has to say. But I got several emails and uh, several thoughts on that. So that'll be a major topic of discussion tomorrow. Um, honestly, not that there's a lot to say, but there, there are some things to say. So it's very cool. So what else do we need to talk about today? That was a interesting unboxing. There's uh, less fountain pens and ink and more traditional uh, Japanese station stationary stuff. Yeah, it's, the Twisby Go is definitely a several several uh item thing i i don't know i might go with the eco more but I don't, that's pretty fun i want to see has anyone cleaned the go yet i'm sure it's easy as easy to clean as it easy to fill but um I, i'd be interested to see if the the cleaning is working out well on these yet i'm i would wager that it is would be my guess And then, you know, the next, I'll write this one, might write this one dry, and then we'll do some orange or something. That is really nice. I love their nibs. How much can it disassemble? I have no idea. I'm not about to find out now that I, okay, look, do you see that? See that right there? That was for me uncapping it, slinging it see it in the cap and it's also on the desk because the cap was in so tight so that's a thing hmm so yeah I uh, blooped it out and it went flying so there you go first was we go warning be careful and I'm guessing there's probably just a lot of extra ink in the feed from when I uh, 
from when I inked it. So, under normal situations, circumstances, that shouldn't happen. But if you're gonna uncap it, maybe do a uh, do a initial pop and then pull instead of like pulling it from the back like I did. Wow. So, there you go. You live and you learn on stream. Live by the ink, die by the ink. So now I got some ink all over my desk. At least it's a black desk. So, all right, gang. I think we're gonna wrap it up for today. I think that it's it. And uh, tomorrow's tomorrow's podcast is gonna be fun. We have huge amount of topics, led by our friends at Pilot launching the hundredth anniversary set. So. We'll figure out what more they're going to do from then, hopefully. Um, at least that's my hope, so we'll see. But uh, thanks for hanging out. I'm going to log off, clean up my desk. Right there, clean up my desk. And uh, pack all this stuff up and, and go get some kids from, from school. So love you guys. Talk to you later. Maybe we'll be back Thursday with another. We'll do a post-podcast stream, something like that. So we'll see. If not, catch you later. <laughs>